Hello, what's up? I will show you today the Harley Ben mm, Victory Plus Black from the Vintage Series. This nice looking flying V here, black and gold. I changed my shirt. I had a black shirt in the beginning and I had to switch it because otherwise you wouldn't see the guitar now and I have to watch out that I don't knock with it anywhere because it's a V a little bit bigger so the guitar came in a Harley Benton package like always but the package was a little bit bigger because of the flying V shape and they do now an extra package so in the normal package was always a styrofoam package uh, an extra layer an extra box um, to protect this guitar i had the same on my harley Benton extreme 76 that had the same uh, protection so it seems like they do this with the pointy guitars to prevent them from uh, damaging which is uh, really clever. It also came with a tool for the truss rod and an, yeah, a cheap cable, guitar cable that works, but uh, yeah, normally you take it out of the box and throw it in the corner or do something else with it. Um, that's how it came. So, I played the guitar now for an hour and uh, you and I, we will go now together through the specs the first time. I honestly didn't watch them before. So we got a mahogany body, a big mahogany body, where you don't know how much pieces it is, but I believe them that it's mahogany. It's set in, I have to watch out here, set in mahogany neck the neck itself is a C profile relatively big profile this time you get the feeling you got a old Les Paul in your hand with this neck um, we got a rosewood fretboard 22 medium frets always medium frets somehow on Harley Benton's golden tunematic bridge here and a golden plate. Perloid block inlays on the rosewood fretboard. Uh, the Wilkinson WCHB Ornico style pickups. If you watch my reviews, uh, you know, you probably know now that the uh, Harley Benton SC Custom comes with this pickups. And I love the Harley Benton SC Custom. So should sound good i think um two volume pots one volume pot for the neck pickup one volume pot for the bridge pickup and a tone pot master tone pot for both pickups three-way switch bridge middle neck and the input jack here cool looking input jack in my opinion strap pin here and here we will come to this later. Um, the whole hardware is in gold. Six gold die cast tuners. Uh, and the binding on the headstock on the headstock. And on the neck. Not on the body. Just on the neck and the headstock. And uh, I'm not sure. Toman doesn't tell us what's the nut I'm not sure I think it's a bone nut but I'm not really sure sorry um, and it comes with the Dario 10 to 46 strings yeah so what you are about to hear in a second is of course the Harley Benton Victory uh, into the Harley Benton Vintage Overdrive no reverb into the Bugera V22. Um, first a clean, 
channel, then the gain channel, I will go from 1 up to 10, slowly, EQ all on uh, 12 o'clock, in this case on 5, and uh, presence on low, like in my last video. Um, the Beguera V22 goes into the Harley Benton 2x12 cap with Celestion V30s. The mic is an Electro Voice Cobalt CO4, this one here, into the 11 rack, just as an interface, no effects. I will probably do the 100 her uh, Hertz, is it in English Hertz too? Uh, 100 Hertz cut due to some uh, bass muddiness we got here in the room. Yeah, and that's it. No effects, no, no uh, other p uh, post processing. So let's start. <laughs> So now it gets interesting, let's talk about the bad and the good points and start with the bad points. And I want to start immediately with this strap pin. Honestly, what's... what happens there? Why? Why? Why is it there? It has to be here somewhere. Or here. Or maybe here. But not there, that's on the neck. I can't reach the frets here without getting the whole strap pin in my hand. And now imagine I would use uh, a strap here. I would have the whole stra uh, strap in my hand. The whole strap end here. You would just be able to reach to the 12th fret. And after that you had this whole strap end in your hand. So that's a really bad point. Absolutely design flaw. So, 
Yeah, first thing thing first thing to do would be get the strap pin out, drill a hole and get it in here. Hmm. So yeah, that's really bad to be honest. Um the frets are not rounded for some reason. I don't know why. I get the feeling uh, Harley Benton uses two or t three different factories because uh, they were rounded on all the other guitars. I get the last uh, the last weeks, and here they are not. They are the fret ends are unfinished and feels a little bit sharp. Um, The frets are also a little bit scratchy. Hope you can hear that. So they need they need a polish. Yeah. Another bad point is I got two holes on in my inlays. Um, they are not glued in correctly. I will show you some pics. I don't think that the inlays will fall out, but uh, yeah, it's a bad point. Um, the cover of the electric cavity here, it's not flush with the body, it's just screwed on top of it. And yeah, that gives a uh, really cheap feeling here. The fair rules is the name I think now of this this thing this six thingies here uh, should be gold but but they are dis discolored somehow a little bit little bit a little bit discolored so yeah a point in the middle not bad not good are again the tuners like uh, in my last video again same tuners just in gold um, you can tune the guitar without a problem but they feel cheap but yeah that's okay that's okay like always wonder what could be 189 euro guitar that's okay and now let's go to the good points very fast before it looks like the guitar is completely bad because that's not true absolutely not it's not true um the look let's start with the look absolutely gorgeous flying v black and gold always a good combination really love this combination my sc custom is black and gold too and that is a gorgeous guitar set in black and this is high gloss black um with the binding next plus point uh really great looking headstock and the uh, fretboard and the frets they are covered the fret ends are covered in the binding um, playability excellent even if the frets are not rounded on the edges it's playability st still good Playability is still very good. The neck could be a bad point to be honest for some people, but for me it's a, it's a good point. It's a fat neck, not super fat, really fat neck. It feels like an old Les Paul. Uh, I played an old uh, Les Paul from the 70s and that was, that was this neck. Really nice. Um, electronics, it works. 500k, 500k, 500k. I'm not sure, but it should be. Uh, works flawlessly. Three way switch works. Input jack is a good point. Really like this style of input jack. Looks really good. Really nice looking uh, input jack. The uh, balance, the guitar. Uh, what I mean is, I can play the guitar very good in the sitting position here. These two edges here helps to keep the guitar here on my leg, like this. 
and you can see very easy to play um, yeah the fret work it itself the fret work is good all frets are rounded we got no squared frets or something they are completely round and nice crowned um, but they are not polished they are scratchy like I said and yeah they need a polish and maybe I should round the edges the nut I don't know really what material is it is I think it's bone Toman doesn't tell us what it is I think it's bone um, it's well slotted and the overall guitar and that's the next good point you see I got many good points uh, the guitar is very resonant not tuned <laughs> but resonant like hell rings and rings forever uh, and when I say ringing and sound also I can go to the next point the pickups Wilkinson MWC HB Ornico pickups uh, same pickups like on the SC custom and I love the SC custom such a great guitar and here it's the same thing uh, suitable for everything rock metal but also clean stuff um, yeah really great pickups Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. It's not as heavy as I thought because maybe because of the big of the big body um, we got three and three three point four kilograms. So yeah, good weight. The fretboard on this guitar, by the way, is not dry. Again, uh, something where I get the idea that uh, Harley Benton uses different factories to produce their guitar. Normally the last guitars I, I uh, got had always um, a dry fretboard and some sharp fret ends always. But on this guitar the fretboard is not dry. Absolutely okay on this on this guitar. Here yeah, what else to say? So it's a little bit controversial here. Uh, I had some bad points. I think uh, the most bad points I ever had on the Harley Benton, but also many good points. More good points that, than I had on some Harley Benton guitars. Um, yeah, the the resume is it an English word too? The what I can say finally is if you are willing to drill a hole in your guitar to get the strap pin from here to here somewhere then I can recommend this guitar I mean the electric cavity thing that just for the looks and it's on the back you don't see it anymore and the people watching you on stage rocking out uh, won't see it too it's there but it's not really a bad thing a big bad thing the two holes on the inlays are there but the inlays won't fall out or something it's just uh, yeah it doesn't look as good as it could um, and yeah, if you like flying V's, I think this is the guitar you should look at first uh, from Harley Benton. Yeah, great looking guitar. Will probably look super cool on stage. Another good point, point could be uh, for me it's a good point, for you it maybe doesn't matter the six in the line, six in the line tuners 
I am not a fan uh, on Flying V sometimes uh, to tune it here with the fee with the V headstock. And again, a good point I almost forgot is um, with this headstock, the strings can run straight over the nut. They don't have an angle, so you got less uh, tuning issues. And if you bend, it will come back completely in tune. So yeah, let's finish this now. Like I said, many we had some bad points, but we also had many good points. Now it's up to you if you uh, really want a guitar like that. Yeah. Tell me what you think about the guitar, how it sounds. Um, and if you want to talk about it, let's join. You should join um, the Facebook group, Thomann and Harley Benton support group. I'm growing every day, the group. Uh, very nice people there, really. Hi to everyone. Um, and yeah, don't be afraid of the bad points I said. It's really, for me, in the end, it comes just to this point here. If you are willing to drill the hole, you can get the guitar. That's usual stuff here. That's nothing special on Harley Benton's. And for 189 euros, that should really be a big issue, issue here. So yeah, that's it. Uh, more playing. I play through the Bogera V22 again. And yeah, bye. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.